Lula and finds not be one situation like that. He's always overweight. And uh, he spoke about this before the game. He's up on that. He's a mistake with it. And there you go. A pretty careful one. You want to be excited to be tender with him. He's trying to get down on the bench. But he gets that fire and finish from Nakamura. First touch, second touch. Hey guys, welcome to a special episode of SPL Social. And today it's all about Tampines Rovers. As we get to know the club a little bit more, let's go! And we're here now with Lukman. You know, he's also known as the Batman. If you guys are very familiar with, you know, the Tampines fans. So he doesn't have his mask on. Yeah, sometimes you need some air. <laughs> but he did wave his bad signal, so I'm really happy today <laughs> to have him here. Um, Look, I'm going to get your thoughts, you know, on Tampines' like transfer activity. Are you happy with what the mm -hmm. squad has done? I must say, the, the off-season has been actually very fruitful. We've seen quality in Faris Ramli. He has netted, you know, over, he has netted so far for all the games that he's been involved in. And that's also Milos. Yeah, a lot of a lot of fantastic signings, I must say. It's uh, very exciting to watch these new guys. So, what do you think of Tampines' chances mm -hmm. um, this season of a trophy? Well, considering the setback that we face in the final hurdle, the very last game of the season, that is the Singapore Cup. We are looking to get back on a stronger note, and I'm more than confident with the current batch in the team that we are able to bring up some surprises. And who knows? Maybe we'll get, even get the league that we've not won for so long. And speaking of which, um, I want to talk to you guys mm. about, talk to you about something that has been introduced in our league this season, which is VAR. Oh, yes. Of course, it's controversial, you know, mm. to some portions, but I want to get your thoughts on it. Has it helped the game, you think? Well, let's be honest. VAR has never been the perfect, it has never been perfect regardless of what level it is. You can, even in the World Cup level, and you, as, you and I know that VAR mm. was a huge role in the World Cup. Yeah. Play a huge one in the World Cup, sorry. And, but with that being said, I'm confident that even though, yes, it's still early, but I'm confident that over time we'll see more and more of instances where the VAR may actually help the officiating of the match and to call for, to call out proper calls. Now, well, well, time will tell. And I'm here now with JT and Azro. I can see that, you know, our friend JT here has his Yellow Knights shirt. Can you take me through, you know, how Yellow Knights came about? Um, we actually formed in 2019. Wow. Um, we felt we felt it was a bit quiet on our side because then we decided to do something to uh, beef up the atmosphere at OTH. So you guys are now currently up against the the Geylang, right? Supporters sharing the location, right? Yeah, yeah, we're sharing location. Even though yes, we may be rivals on the stands, but we are very good friends off the stands. Lukman, you're part of the Yellow Knights, and I see oh. you guys every like almost at every Tampines game. Can you tell me a little bit more about like what's your mm -hmm. plan for this season? Is there anything special in the works that you guys have planned? Oh yes, actually this year is our fifth year of support. Actually, it's our fifth anniversary. Um, Happy anniversary! Oh, thank you. With uh, we've been together since uh, supporting Tampines uh, in the stands since 2019, and with the, our fifth anniversary, it's also a good, a good uh, time for reflection and also a way a, a time for us to introduce new ideas to attract more people to come and support Tampines. Because prior to 2019, there were even though there were there were vocal uh, vocal punch, it was not organised. Mm. But with that being said, five years of organised support and vocal and organic support. That's definitely a milestone and we are, we are looking forward to the next few years. Yeah, and definitely I think if anybody who wants to join the Yellow Knights, they can yes. definitely contact you guys and... Yeah, and definitely. You, all, all are welcome to join. How long have you guys been supporting Tampines Rovers? Uh, last year? Last season? Started last season, yeah. Start of last season. Okay, so why Tampines? There were sailors, there were uh, so many other teams. Because uh, I live in Tampines. I used to live in Tampines. It was my childhood like, place I stayed in and I feel that uh, I want to play for Tampines so... Wow, really? You want to play for Tampines? Yeah. <laughs> as in, yeah. did you try professionally playing as in like trials or anything like that? Uh, yes, but probably not good enough but 
if I can, I would like to. The dream, uh, yeah. oh, dream. the dream is to play for Tampines. Yeah, that's why supporting is quite fun. Can I get your thoughts on the squad this season? Do you think they're strong enough to win the league? Uh, actually, I think so. The squad looks good after Meme have left. That's the only downside I see. Lah. But other than that, I think that we are strong enough to win the season. Oh. Hopefully, Boris gets back on form. Lah, like, yeah. Gets back to scoring ways. Yeah. I think it depends. Uh, I think on paper, compared to a team like Lion City Sailors, I think not as much. We're not, I don't think we're the favourites, but I guess take it game by game. It really depends on the players. Uh. Yeah. Can I get a message from you all to all the fans out there about local football? You know, those who might have doubts about our local league. I think that even though our local football is not as good as other... Honestly, it's not as good as other countries, right? I feel that the only thing that we can give is actually small support then maybe it can go maybe a bit further we won't talk about world cup lah, but maybe somewhere a bit further lah, instead of our current state right now that i think we shouldn't give too much hit and a bit more support i think that would be nice i think honestly come down for the game i guess yeah you know watching football on your screen is a lot different compared to watching in the stadium itself right uh, and i think yeah like you said Instead of hating, I think just come down to just come down for the game and support your team. And I'm here now with Meg and Stefan all the way from Germany, guys. And I believe it's your first game in Singapore. Uh, yes, correct. So how are you feeling about about, about being here? <laughs> excited, <laughs> very excited. Yeah. Okay, you know you come from a country of Bundesliga, some of the best football in Europe. So you know what are your expectations about our league here? Um, yeah, we are we actually on a world trip. And uh, yeah, so we try to visit uh, a game in each country we visit. And uh, yeah, from uh, this game today, we expect uh, not a boring game. Not a, uh, <laughs> so how long have you guys been traveling? Uh, since uh, mid-October last year. Wow, so yeah. this couple is, on a, is a round the world trip. So, wow, yeah. that's fantastic. Did you go to any other games in Southeast Asia, in other countries? Malaysia yeah, Malaysia. We've been uh, um, in Borneo to Kuching Stadium wow. and uh, to KL Stadium and in Thailand wow. to Krabi Stadium. <laughs> okay guys, you know, I just want to say thank you for coming to a Singapore Premier League game and of course, you know, can I get also a message for you to, you know, Singapore football fans out there? Just a message. Yeah guys, come uh, watch the soccer matches. Soccer is uh, connecting the world. It's part of the culture. It's never boring. So just uh, yeah, get out, uh, get out uh, your homes and come to the stadiums. How long have you been supporting Tampines and why? Uh, so I've been supporting Tampines since I was young. I used to live in Tampines, oh. so I used to go to the old Tampines Stadium, uh, and then I stopped going once they moved to Jerome. But then when they moved back to Tampines, I continued watching them, and I've been supporting them the whole time. David, tell me what about Tampines you like? It's just the the way of football, the way they play. It's different it's more modern football i like that it's very exciting football and the fans are also very supportive of the club and that also want, makes me want to be part of them okay so you have to have a favorite player from tampanese someone who you know you enjoy watching first i like taufik supano oh very good on very the game, quick yeah. yes very very technical very skillful player i like him a lot i love to watch him play when he comes off the bench, he always brings that spark to the team and always finds that opening to get that goal if you are down the goal or yeah. it's a draw. Alright guys, I'm here now with Harif and Raif. For me, I'm a Tampines fan, so I, uh, every season I will come to Jamsa Stadium obviously. Sometimes even our Tampines are in other away stadiums. Support local team. I want to ask you, like, what has been your favourite jersey so far in the SPL, if you've seen it around uh, Tampanese home kit is one. This is a favourite, yes? Yes. And... Uh, is it Tanjo Paga? Yeah, the away one. Yeah. Oh, you like the away one. The home yeah. one is a popular one as well. Yeah, for me it would be the Tampanese away kit. Because um, I think the home one, uh, it looks kind of looks like the Harimau Malaya uh, home kit. And uh, I don't know if I... Like, imagine I, if I would wear it. I think other people think that like, I would be wearing the... Malaysia kids so like ah. <laughs> <laughs> Harimau Malaya. Yeah. Well, how do you like encourage your friends, you know, to watch local football? For me, it's getting more interesting because Brunei just joined, 
and join again. Um, Young Lions getting stronger also. Uh, we two new Japanese players. Yeah. And, yeah, Japanese bro. But support local though. Uh, a lot of people say that you know SPL is just a boring club. But the thing is that they have not experienced it, so they won't know the feel of how SPL is. Any SPL player who has impressed you so far, or who we should be looking out for? Yeah, Vincent Bezacot, Gelang. He impressed me so far, and the Tampanese centre back Milos, I think. Yeah, he's been great so far. Fire Shamli, he's got two goals already. And I didn't yeah. get which team you supported again. Tampanese. Oh, okay. So yeah. both of you are Tampanese yeah. fans, okay? For me, the player that surprised me is obviously Faris and Boris. They both been playing very well. And, and can Tampanese win the league, guys? Yes, yeah. Okay, now I want to ask you, David. This is the first season we are having VAR in yes. our league. I want to get your thoughts on that. Has it helped the game, you think? Uh, it's uh, prevented more errors from last year. Maybe like the referee missed out, maybe an offside. Or maybe it was a penalty in the sense last season. This season, they can sort of check it before they actually give the decision, yeah. which is much better, I feel. Do you think it has helped Tampanese? In some instances, yes. In, they've been quite fair to Tampanese, yeah. I feel. The, I mean, I don't really agree with the red card last, last game. Like last red card, is yes, it? Yes, I don't agree with the red card. I think it was more of a 50-50 challenge. Yeah. But other than that, I think they've been quite fair to us. Okay, then I want to ask you since you've got a Tampanese kit on, have yes. you seen the new Tampanese jersey this season? I always like the away jerseys. Because I always find they're very different. Okay. And they always change it up. So, but then uh, I also like the this season's home jersey. Yeah. The lightning, I think oh, it's a very bold. I love it too. Yeah. It's a very bold design. And I think it really speaks about how Tampanese are. Very bold team. Always like to play like that. So you're here at the game, can you, you know, leave a message to all the fans out there who you know, might want to come to a game, maybe a bit of words of encouragement? Uh, support your local football. I think you can watch the football in Europe, but if you're not supporting your local football, then it's a bit weird. Okay, JP, I've got to ask you, I know the Yellow Knights, you know, are very passionate. Um, so what is the plan usually? How, how do you all plan, you know, for a game day like today? Uh, Drums-wise, we usually put in top store. Uh, then Usually, uh, then on game day itself, usually I'll, I will purposely on the purpose, that day itself, I work from home. Oh, WFH. Yeah, then, um, I'll say, can, can I let my boss here? Um, because sometimes when the club bring the logistics over to away stadiums, then sometimes the van cannot fit. Uh, so I will head down to OTH before they actually set off. Okay. So if they, the van cannot fit, then I can bring the drum over myself. Uh. I see. So the okay. drums will be in uh, OTH, the OTH club store. Then banners will be we we will share the responsibility of uh, keeping the banners every week. Uh. Do you have anything to show me today? Any banners or inside or what? my bag? It's, oh, he's got a Tampanese Rovers bag as well, guys. This is a true fan, JT. Very, huh? Takes a lot of effort and dedication on match day. You can to see. Thank our chief designer, our main designer, Mr. Zen. This thank you, our, Mr. Zen. Our away days. Wow! It says Tampanese away days, a way of life. So this only comes out on away, away games. Days. Away games, yeah, right? Yeah, away games only. Okay, is there a specific reason for this symbol? Like, hey, this one you got to ask my designer. Design. Okay, so it's specifically oh, it's on nice. away days only. Because, uh, if I'm not wrong, the, this one, the logo has been used by uh, a lot of clubs uh, on the away days as well. If I'm not wrong, lah. Okay. This one you ask him. Okay, we'll ask him. But good job. Can I see the other banner if you don't mind? Oh, what does it say? More yellow and black. The yellow knights. Yeah, basically it's our main our main logo banner. Okay, 1852 symbolizes. Basically 18 is the postal sector of Tampanese and Pasir. Then 52 is actually the postal code, the first two digit postal code for Tampanese. I never knew this. Okay. You can find it in, in URA website. I want to get your quick thoughts on Tampanese uh, season ahead. Um, do you think that they you know can win the title? Um, win the title. Hopefully, the challenge they put out a good fight for the for the title this year. Given the quality of the squad they have this year, As they, look at the bench and the first team. I feel there's there's a very we can have a fighting chance uh, this year. Hope hopefully we can win by this year. SPL. Okay, last question. You know, mm. a little bit of a segue into local football. I know you're very mm. passionate about local football, but yes. what do you have to say to all those people out there who might? have their doubts about our league, you know, uh -huh. any words of encouragement that we can get from you? Well, here's the thing. 
Liverpool got me into the world of football. But with that being said, if I can support a team 10,000 kilometers away, why can't I support a team one kilometer away? And it hit me and I went down to the stadium for the first time. I know to say, hey, it is entertaining after all. And if no one's going to support our guys, then who will? And it, we, it's very important and... People might say out there, you, you mentioned Liverpool. You know, Liverpool obviously play a different quality of football yeah, compared to the SPL. So what, what do you have to say about people who compare the quality of the league? How can they still be excited about our league? If I want to localise it, it's like comparing an apple to a durian. <laughs> but with that being said, right, at the end of the day, it's still football. Yes, there are notable differences, very notable differences. But let's face it, like going back to my point early on, if you want the game to improve here, there has to be more passion, more enthusiasm. In order for that to happen, people have to come down. You never know whether you will love it until you come down. So I implore everyone to turn up for the local clubs and also for the national team because we need all the support that we can get if we really want to go forward. Well said, Lukman. Thank you so much for those words of encouragement. That's it for this episode of SPL Social. I hope that you enjoyed what the fans had to say about our beautiful game. Of course, stay tuned for the next one. I'm Ashashin from Futbolita and I'll see you guys soon. Vamos!